I've been pretty laid back when it comes to Marvel on this channel. I love superhero films, but I have kept those kinds of movies on the back burner. Regarding Marvel TV shows has been so haphazard and thrown at viewers with such full force, I haven't really looked back on my viewing experience. It's been too overwhelming. So with She-Hulk coming to an end this past Thursday, I thought I'd rank the Marvel TV shows thus far. I enjoyed She-Hulk and wanted to talk about it. This is my own opinion and honestly, as a Marvel fan, all of the shows were pretty damn good. Don't get pissy. Let me know your rankings below. This review only profiles the eight Disney Plus shows and not the Netflix series, so let's get to it. Not really canon, but all the same time it is. Marvel's animated show, What If, is very intriguing. Not all episodes stick with the landing, but the final two see a culmination of all these multiverse characters that hyped me up more than I anticipated. Infinity Ultron is a villain I hope to see in the future of the MCU, but I do not believe it ranks above any of the shows coming after. When Miss Marvel started, I loved it. Those first couple episodes were perfectly done and it looked as if it was going to turn into the best Marvel show. But once she became Miss Marvel, you see those VFX powers and the whole Jin storyline, it became incredibly weak. I think the entire cast of characters were some of the best we've been treated to in the MCU, but maybe this would have been better as a movie. I'm amazed at myself that I put this at 6 coming off of just re-watching it with my girlfriend, but here it is. I think The Falcon and the Winter Soldier is an incredible drama and the entire storyline of Falcon becoming Captain America is one of the best character driven stories in the MCU. I love the inclusion of US Agent, but the Flag Smashers completely ruined the season for me. Their agenda makes no sense and when it comes to an end I'm just relieved I don't have to see them again. I look forward to US Agent coming back and Sam Wilson becoming Captain America, but I pray that I won't have to watch the Flag Smashers again. And Baron Zemo, ooh, give me more. Like Miss Marvel, the first couple episodes of Moon Knight blew my socks off. The first episode is simply perfect. It sets up an incredible character, but in the end, Marvel takes the inevitable turn towards a climactic event that we did not need. Out of all the characters in these shows, Moon Knight needs a well-written character-driven story, but they throw too many things at the wall to stretch the storyline out. Moon Knight would have benefited from a special presentation instead of the TV episode format. I am intrigued to see where they take Moon Knight in the future, but they really dropped the ball with the payoff for me in this show. I enjoyed Hawkeye more than most people. This series and the three rankings that follow are the only shows where Marvel does not fail at all in my opinion. In fact, I feel like they actually have meaning within the entire MCU. Bringing back Kinpin might have been a bit shorthanded, but luckily the entire show isn't about that. It's showing us Kate Bishop and giving us a great Hawkeye arc. I love the Christmas theme and that episode with the one take car chase was a chef's kiss. The inclusion of Echo was thrilling and her on-screen moments were fun to watch. The more I think about Hawkeye, the more I want to rewatch it. It's a simple story, not a big extravaganza like the other shows are trying to pull off and that's what I want. She-Hulk was going to be bashed before he came out and what She-Hulk strives at is anticipating the discourse and including it in the show. Yes, it's fresh in my mind and that may be why I'm ranking it high, but I loved each episode. I don't need a crazy MCU episode to episode bash, I just need a story about She-Hulk slash Jen Walters and that is what we got. I think the finale was brilliant and would be the second best finale in this ranking. They heard the fans and while I don't agree with everything fans say and I don't believe Marvel should even listen to them, they do well with choosing their battles. This was the perfect example. They knew we expected a climactic battle and turned it on its head. Using her breaking the fourth wall to their advantage, they handed us a subtle finale while giving the viewer more than what was wanted or expected. I am so excited to see Jen Walters interact with more characters in the future. I think she's a great addition to the MCU, and if you disagree, just shut up. You clearly are the people Marvel is poking fun at. Oh, and Daredevil is back. Being the first Marvel TV show, they really had to nail it. WandaVision sounded like a stupid title, but when that first trailer came out, I was left intrigued. Then those first two episodes dropped and you think, oh, this is nice. They took artistic liberty here. Past those episodes, it turns into the crazy phenomenon we know it for now. I loved the direction they took with WandaVision. The twists and turns were incredible and felt right for the MCU as a whole. Yes, the finale was a climactic battle and that's where it all started, but it felt warranted. 
Wanda gets her amazing arc, and while it kind of got shit on in Multiverse of Madness, in my opinion, in my opinion, we will have more of her in the future. The characters are great in this show, her kids are cast brilliantly, Monica Rambeau is a great addition, and Agatha was something I actually didn't see coming. A great TV show and a great story within the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Loki is the standard they need to reach with every show going forward. No one knew where we were heading with Loki, but that first episode throws you in and takes you on the wild goose chase that changes the face of the Marvel Cinematic Universe moving forward. Owen Wilson is so freaking good. Sylvie is a character I didn't realize I needed in the MCU, and He Who Remains was the best twist of them all. The way they wrap this entire show up is one of the best cliffhangers to a Marvel-related project ever, and I am more than excited for the future of Marvel because of this show. That is why it's the best Marvel Cinematic Universe show as of now. You really believe in this Loki variant? Luckily, he believes in himself enough for the both of us. Why? It is adorable that you think you could possibly manipulate me. I'm ten steps ahead of you. You're not big on trust, are you? You can trust me. Loki, I've studied almost every moment of your entire life. You've literally stabbed people in the back like 50 times. Why never do it again? Tune in every Friday for new movie videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below what other movies you would like me to do videos on. Thank you, Mom, for editing the scripts for my movie essays. I appreciate you. Till next time, thanks for watching. Catch you on the flip side.